Hey guys, this is my horizontal high valve build. Um, it holds 19 frames and also allows you to put honey supers right on top. So that way you can collect honey and when the honey flows over, it's super simple to take off and you have a um, hive ready for the winter. So let me walk you through the details and show you how you actually add the supers, take them off and how this whole thing works. All right, looking at the front, I have this circular plate um, that controls the B entrance. Um, you can easily move this and minimize it or maximize it. Um, use it as ventilation. Um, there's a landing board and you see the hinges up front. The reason for those is because the bottom board actually opens up, comes right out. So you can check for swarms cells easily when you don't have time. Or you can just clean the bottom board out easily. So the top here um, just comes off fairly easy. It's really light. Just lift it up, put it aside. And then what we have next is inner, inner cover or boards, whatever you want to call it on this particular hive. As you can see, I put little handles up here. One of these has ventilation holes, just to give them more um, ventilation. And these come off um, really easy. So let's put these aside and take a look uh, what's underneath. So I'm going to bring this in a little bit so you can see this better. It comes with 19 deep frames. As you can see, come out easily. Um, the reason I did 19 is so I can have two deep um, deeps right up top or two mediums for honey collection. Um, I do have, if we take this one out, bring this over, I have a, a divider board, following board, however you want to call it. Um, you can actually use it, move some of these frames, put a nook in here and start off with just a nook. Close that off, that only have this space. This you can keep the frames or empty, or um, it's up to you. The following board is easy, simple build. Have a little handle just to pull it off easier. Put that aside for a second. Uh, when you put all light in frames, you have just about a quarter inch left here on the side. Uh, that's, you're gonna need that because of propolis buildup and stuff. So the next part is honey supers. The way it works on this particular hive. Um, you can use um, queen excluders as well, you just lay them right down here, they fit perfectly. Um, do keep in mind this is an 8 frame, not a 10 frame. So you can put queen excluders if you do use these. And then you just take, this is an 8 frame uh, deep, just put that right on top here. As you can see it fits right in, it's got a little lip here, it fits right in. Let's put another one in there. There we go. So now you have two supers right on top and on top of your hive on the bottom. You don't have to take the boxes apart, lift them or anything. Just collect honey up here. When it's done, take the boxes off. And let me show you what it looks like from the top. As you can see, bees have the queen excluder down there if you just want to collect honey and you don't want the queen to lay eggs up there, that works. All right, the top fits right on, on here. As you can see, it's super easy to put on, slides right over the boxes. You can put the uh, inner covers in the super too. I just don't know where mine are. <laughs> but that's as easy as that. If you take it off, you just simply lift it and put it aside, check, check the supers for the honey, see what's going on in there. All right, this is the view from the back. As you can see, there's a couple of little, little um, latches right here. They open right up easily. Put that down, make sure it's open, and push this down. Now, you can see everything from underneath the hive. See now that's open, you can see everything underneath. So if you go down here, you can see the bottom of the hive. Um, you can clean that board off if you need to. And you can check for um, queen cups, check the health of the bees. I just find it um, super useful. So you just pull this back up and put these latches back on. There you go, it's all done. I did move that entrance to the left, it was in the middle of my last build because um, Swarm King um, channel said um, this should probably be on the side uh, due to brood and that makes perfect sense. So what I might do is actually put a couple of um, holes up here with a little um, uh, with the little place I have, use it for uh, ventilation and actually top entrance when you put the supers on.
So we might add that down the road too. Um, the true test is going to come in the springtime when we actually put some bees in here and test this out and see if we need to do any modifications on here, change anything, add anything and stuff like that. So if you haven't yet liked the video, subscribe um, to see how this hive actually performs in the springtime. I'll have videos throughout the spring and summer um, just to monitor this and see if it actually works well. So that's it. You saw the hive. Let me know what you think. Um, leave some comments down below. Let me know if you would change anything, add or remove anything. Let me know what you think overall.